Greetings and uh, thank you for joining us this, this day, this Christmas week, as we just take time to look to Jesus, remind ourselves of all that He is to us, and just tell Him that we love Him, that we are so thankful, that we are so grateful for all that He is to us today. I want to remind you and me that Jesus is our faithful friend, our faithful friend. At Proverbs 18, verse 24, it says, A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And it is Jesus who is that friend who sticks closer than a brother. You know, we all, we thank God for our family. We value family relationships. But Jesus is a friend who is closer than a wonderful family relationship. He's a friend who sticks closer than a brother. You know, as we journey through life, especially in those difficult times in life, we long for people who understand us. We long for people who will support us. We long for people who will love us unconditionally. And sometimes we just need people who will listen to us and not try to advise us and judge us and criticize us. And, you know, we just need that someone who will be there as a pillar of support for us. And we all need those kinds of people in our lives, somebody to whom we can pour our heart out and not feel like we're going to be judged or condemned or, uh, you know, uh, they will remember that and hold that against us. We, you know, we just need those kinds of friends. And even if we have at least one such friend, that's an amazing thing for us in those difficult times in life. But what I want to remind us is the Lord Jesus is that kind of a friend, and much more than that. He's a friend who is closer to us than a brother. He's a friend who will be with us in the good times and the bad times. And he's that friend who will listen to our hearts. We can pour out our hearts. We can tell him what we feel. The Bible says he's touched by the feelings of our weaknesses. You know, when we are able to speak out and tell him, Lord, I'm feeling weak in this area. I'm, I, I don't think I'm really strong in this area. Lord, I'm struggling here. Lord, this is not, I just can't make it. You know, when we can tell him our weaknesses and know that he will be touched by those things. He will be compassionate towards us. He will not judge us. He will not abandon us. He will not forsake us. He will not give up on us. He's that kind of a friend. And this week, as we remember the fact that 2,000 years ago, He came into this world and He came just for you. He came just for me to be that friend who will be closer than a brother. I want you to take a few moments today and look to Jesus and say, Lord, thank you for being my friend who is closer than a brother for being my friend who's closer than anyone else. Thank God for good human friendships that we have. Thank God. But there are things that we can tell Jesus that we can't tell anybody else. Things that we can talk to Him about that we cannot talk to anybody else about. He is that friend. You know, thank God for the blessed Holy Spirit who makes Jesus so personal and so real to us, so that Jesus is not just a story, not just a person in the Bible, but He is truly that friend, that we can feel Him, we can encounter Him, we can experience Him, even though we can't see Him. He's that friend. Let's pray. Let's thank Him. Lord Jesus, we can't explain this, that though we haven't seen You, yet you're so real to us. Though we've never shook hands, 
though we've never sat and met you face to face, you are so real to us. That you are a friend who's closer than a brother. Thank you for being with us during those difficult times. Thank you for listening to the very feelings and emotions of our hearts and minds as we just told you what it is, as it is, like it is. Thank you for being that friend closer than a brother. We celebrate you. We worship you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.